Choosing the right sized kennel for your pet is crucial in making crate training a positive experience. The best way to select the perfect kennel size for your pup is to measure him from the top of his head to the floor and then from the tip of his nose to the base of his tail. The kennel that you choose should be three to four inches taller than your pet and three to four inches longer than your pet as well. This will help ensure that there's ample space for your dog to fully stand up, easily turn around, and comfortably lie all the way down. Remember, if your kennel is too small, your pet will be uncomfortable. And if it's too large, your pet might attempt to use the bathroom in his space. Crate training is a gradual process. You should select a permanent location for your crate in a calm section of your home where your family spends much of their time. This will allow your dog to feel relaxed while still feeling like he's not missing out on the action. When first introducing your dog to a kennel, leave the door open for several days and allow your dog to go in and out of the kennel to get used to it. Feel free to place toys, treats, or meals inside the kennel to provide positive reinforcement for your dog. But whatever you do, don't enclose your dog inside a kennel until he is comfortable going inside. Start by leaving the room briefly to slowly acclimate your dog to being alone inside his crate. When you return to the room to check on your dog, sit quietly for some time and then let your dog out of the kennel. Repeat this process several times a day, increasing the length of time that your dog is in the kennel and the length of time that you are out of sight. When your dog will stay quietly in the crate for 30 minutes, you can begin leaving him crated when you're gone for short periods of time or letting him sleep in the kennel at night. Dogs are natural denning animals, and a crate or kennel provides them with a safe place to curl up and rest, giving them needed security and stress relief. Kennels can be a great tool when traveling with your pet. The right kennel can help your pet feel safe and secure while on the road. Once your dog has been properly introduced to a kennel or crate, you may begin using it as a house training tool. During the house training process, it's important that free time in the house is supervised. Remember, an indoor accident will leave a scent behind that could encourage repeat behavior. Once outside, choose a consistent command to let your dog know that it's time to go. Get busy. And repeat that command every few seconds until they follow your instructions. Good boy. After free time in the house, your dog should receive an equal amount of crate time. Repeat this process for the next two weeks, slowly eliminating crate time and replacing it with free time in the house. A crate or kennel is a safe and secure place for your dog to go when exhibiting undesirable behaviors. Come on, get your crate in your face. A dog that has been crate trained will feel less anxious when inside his crate. Hey, come on.